So everyone's slowing down in this time of COVID. I've noticed this uh, personally in my life. And, and as a result, so many of us are having more time to make art. And a lot of us have also had time to do other things. And one of the things that I have done and I've seen a lot of other people do um, is plant gardens. This is Nicholas Wilton and Art to Life. And today I want to talk about nuance and paying attention. Planting a garden for me started just because I had a little extra time and I was inside so much. And I just wanted to go outside because I was tired of being inside. And so I planted a couple things and then I watered them and then they started to grow. And every day I walked by that little area and I noticed um, how things were changing. And that drew me into this. And so then I kept going and I kept expanding this garden. And now it's a pretty large garden. I have a whole bunch of stuff growing. And that all came about because I started, it just brought me in, that paying attention thing brought me in. And I started noticing, noticing things, you know, that some plants, like they all have an end date. They're all going to be done by winter. And the bigger things, like I have a mammoth sunflower planted, that's going to be nine feet tall. At least that's what it says it's going to be. But it's growing so fast because it has the same amount of time as a tomato plant that's only going to grow four feet tall. So this whole community of things are all growing at different rates. And I'm just really aware of that. And it's fascinating. And I'm so also fascinated this morning, I was looking at this pea plant and the way the tendrils like the pea plant doesn't have any eyes, but it can send out these little curly Q arm things and it knows where to grab hold of something, even though it can't see it. It must somehow sense where there's a stick or support, something to support itself on. And if you've ever looked at a chai flower, it's amazing what happens and how it opens. And the color of a chai flower is one of the most beautiful blues. Um, and and anyway, so this, this, this attention, this, Paying attention, this slowing down um, is also totally related to art making. You know, the, the consistency, if you can do it, if you can go by that garden every day, if you're watering it every day, if you're paying attention just a little bit, you start noticing things. And it's the same way with your art. If you can be in it and every day or a little bit every day or every couple days, you see things and you get that consistency and it draws you in, it pulls you in, it pulls you into it. The more attention to the, the more presence you can bring, the more attention, the better art you can make. It just, it pulls you into it and it gets, you get more nuanced with it. And it's those nuances, it's that ability to notice things, you know, the sensitivity and the fine tuning, the adjustments you do to your art that make it yours. And when it becomes yours, people can feel that and experience that and it makes it distinct and it makes it desirable and it makes it saleable and it makes it more engaging for you um, to make. And that's a pretty amazing thing. And this, so out of this time, I mean, that's kind of the question that I, that I have for you. You know, what is this season of slowing down? Um, affected your art. And we're going to be talking about this uh, on the next Kitchen Table Art Project, which is the theme of this, what I'm sharing with you today, this, you know, how this slowing down has affected uh, your art. That's going to be the theme for this coming Wednesday's Kitchen Table Art Project. For those of you who are new here, it's a, uh, it's like a cool interview show. Uh, we broadcast it's for free. If you want to find out about it, you can go to kitchentableartproject.com and um, find out, it's, we live stream it, we stream it on the Art to Life Facebook group, our Instagram channel, and uh, it's super, super cool. So we've got some amazing guests and we're gonna be bringing some folks in who actually do uh, floral work and some uh, nature uh, art. So I think it'll be really, really great. So please show up for that. You can click on the links below and find out all about it. And uh, go ahead and leave a comment below um, about how this time of slowing down has really um, affected your work and, and, the, and the subtleties and nuances that, that you've brought to it that you've noticed. All right. Hope you have an awesome Sunday. Thanks a lot. See you on Wednesday. Okay. Hey, everyone. If you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please 
join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.